Welcome to our presentation of the Magnitude 55. This trailer is designed to handle 55 tons and 12 feet as a four axle closed couple or as a three plus one configuration. The big difference in the Fontaine Heavy Haul Gooseneck and other hydraulic removable goosenecks in the industry is that we use a hook and shaft style. Most people use a traditional pin and plate. So what that means is we have these large main beam hooks here but what this will also allow you to do is unhook and hook on uneven surfaces. As long as you can get the shaft of this gooseneck under these hooks, you're going to be able to hook up in any type of conditions versus that pin and plate where you need to be on a more flat level surface. A couple of great features on the Fontaine Hydraulic Removable Gooseneck. One is this V guide in the center of this trailer. So if you get close when you're hooking this trailer back up, this guide is going to position that gooseneck back in place. Since these main beam hooks are exposed, if you're loading low clearance equipment on these ramps, you may want to add the optional manual front approach ramps with riser. When you add that option, the ramps will level with these hooks for loading that equipment easily. So kind of going to the front of the gooseneck, this gooseneck is set up with a 102 swing radius. It also has these brackets on the front so that you can put a 23 inch flip box on there, which will help you achieve a 125 swing. A couple of other features on the front. Here you have a removable style kingpin. So if your kingpin's ever damaged, you can easily replace this kingpin. These glad hands are recessed so that you have protection when you're unhooking and hooking up your truck. Also, same thing with the inlet and return on your hydraulic hoses. This unit here is equipped with a 13 horsepower Honda power pack. So this is a self-contained unit and it'll allow you to operate all the hydraulics on this trailer without having a wet line kit on your truck. If you didn't have this power unit, you're gonna need a wet line kit to operate the hydraulics. The Fontaine Magnitude 55H is equipped with a dual prong frame jack. What this does is it keeps the gooseneck from sliding on your truck from side to side. A lot of the competition has a single prong, so there's tendencies for that gooseneck to want to shift to one side or the other. Kind of coming back, we use a Prince valve, so it's a two spool valve, so you have two controls. One is gonna be for a frame jack, and the other is gonna be to lift the trailer up and down. Coming back through here, when we were talking about the gooseneck design, we have a mechanical pin right here in lieu of an air pin. The nice thing about this mechanical pin on this gooseneck is if you're in the field somewhere and you bend this pin, you actually can do some repairs on job site. With your traditional pin and plate with that air cylinder, if you have issues with that pin, you're gonna have to wait for parts to come in in order to get hooked back up or unhook. So continuing on, this is a single cam pole. This has a rack in here that gives you five cam pole positions for ride heights. Typically, most people are gonna run that on the second notch down, which is gonna give you approximately a 50 inch nominal ride height. Each of these notches changes your ride height by about two inches. We do have options where you'll see where we have a dual cam paw, and that'll give you two additional positions in that tower. So talking about overall deck length, this trailer is set up standard with a 25 foot deck length. We measure our clear deck length from the back of this tower to the beginning of the bogey. So you get truly 25 feet. A lot of the competition counts part of this space here in the deck length. So it's not really a true 25 foot deck. There's also options on this for 26 and 27 foot decks. This is eight foot six wide and there's options for nine foot wide as well. So up front here, you have two lockable toolboxes so you can store chains, binders, any of those, any kind of wood blocking that you would might need on a job site. If you continue down our trailer, if you look at our cross members, you can see that they're pierced through the main beams. So they're a full piece, full width cross member. So then they get welded to the side rails on each side. Also looking, we have these extension brackets here. You know, these are extension brackets are designed to help you in wide load situations. The nice thing about these is if you do overload or get in a situation, some of these will break, but that's to help prevent damage to your side rail. Also, you have these bent D-rings. Each of these is rated at a capacity of 10,000 pounds. Talking about flooring, this is a two inch apatong, which is probably the sturdiest and best wood in the industry to get the job done. Continuing on back, you'll see that our last three cross members are recessed. This allows you to be able to tuck boom troughs down in there and get that overall height flow. Also in the last couple of years, Fontaine has taken out a cross member that was in this bogey section. Again, just trying to get additional height so that you can get booms tucked down in there and stay under height. One of the features that you don't see on this trailer that's optional is you can put a hammer plate in there so that you have an easy spot to rest your bucket or hammer on. As we continue to move back, this is actually a fixed connection deck. 
We also offer this in a modular connection. The nice thing about the fixed connection is it's going to give you your lowest overall weight. But the nice thing on the modular is you can do different style decks. So you can take a deck out and put a beam deck or a drop side rail deck in there for different styles of equipment. As we continue on, this trailer actually has optional aluminum wheels on it. You can also do an optional chain lift. This one is not equipped with that, but they're kind of very easy to operate. What you would do is you're going to dump all the air from the rear of the trailer out of the suspension. You will then cut off the valve above the airbag and then you will attach the chain into position. And once you air the trailer back up, it's gonna lift this front axle up off the ground. These are heavy duty low bearing bolsters. So each bolster is rated for 23,500 pounds for a total of 47,000 across the pair. What this allows you to do is drive heavy equipment up on these bolsters. The other thing you can also do is add load bearing wheel covers. Those wheel covers are gonna add a total of about 1,500 pounds to the trailer or 750 per side. They're gonna still be able to load anything on those wheel covers as well. Continuing to move back, talking about the suspension a little more. This is equipped with a Hendrickson suspension. Typically, you're gonna ride in the middle position when you're loaded going down the road, but you do have those other adjustments to get under overpasses or to get over railroad crossings. Kind of continuing to move to the back of the trailer, there's several features back here. One of the features is you see a center amber light here. There's actually a switch for you to operate these amber lights. So when you turn this on, you'll see these ambers come on. This is actually set up so that if you detach from the truck, these amber lights are still gonna flash and operate in any situation. This is a V pan. So this V pan is recessed as well so that you can tuck booms and things in there to keep your overall height down. Also back here, you have a couple of other valves that you can operate. On this side, you can pull this valve here and it's going to lift this third axle. So if you're empty and going back home and you don't want the third axle on the ground, you can operate that switch and it's gonna lift the third axle off the ground. To this side, you actually have a dump valve. So when you pull this switch, it's actually gonna dump all the air out of the suspension. You're always gonna to wanna to do this before you load and unload any equipment. This should be the first thing that you look at doing just to ensure that you're safely loading equipment on and off the trailer. Also looking at this, this low profile bumper here um, has all of your attachments for easy attachments of a fourth axle or a spreader bar. So as you can see, these brackets are here to attach again, the spreader bar or a fourth axle for easy hookup. All your connections are ready to go. I hope this tour of the Fontaine Magnitude 55H has been useful for you. Again, just to reiterate, this trailer is designed for 55 tons and 12 feet as a four axle trailer or as a three plus one. It has the fastest and easiest and most versatile gooseneck in the industry, and it's backed by a brand that everyone knows and trusts, Fontaine. See your local dealer for additional details.